Diana 48 Review by Air Gandhi. Servus, thanks for dropping in. It's time for Diana again, an amazing rifle made in Germany. It's on the market for quite some time now and I'm not sure why I just had not set my eyes on it yet, but I think now it is about time I make a video about it. We'll do the same as always, starting with the trigger test, then a crony test, a shooting test and at the end, of course, my result, where I tell you what I think who this gun is made for. The gun has a lot to offer, so you should be excited. About today's setup, I mounted a Hawk MX 10-44 scope, which is brand new and really nice with a super fine crosshair. It looks great on this gun and works well indoor with um, 11 yards distance and uh, a huge magnification, but of course it is also great for bigger distances like Hunterfield target. <coughs> I can only recommend it and you can buy it, same as the height adjustable ATP65 mount at jabolo.de. You can buy the rifle at my partner Action Shop 24 pay them a visit and you can buy fitting air gun these finest Diabolos in both shops. Um, these are the ones we'll use for the crony test and the shooting test. Okay, now let's start with a closer look at the gun. At the front end of the barrel, we see a synthetic front side, which is mounted on a rail. You can move it back and forth, which I haven't seen a lot until now. Um, I think it's the only Diana that has got this. I'm not sure if maybe the old Diana 45 has it, uh, 54, sorry. Um, if you know it, just uh, leave a comment. I can't remember right now. Either way, um, the sliding front side is really special, nothing you see too often. Uh, you have a rear side that's fully adjustable in height and sideways. We have a 44 cm barrel, um, the whole gun is 110 cm long and it weighs 3.9 kg. You can imagine you need a little power in your arms, um, but, and you will see that in the shooting test, cocking the rifle is very comfortable, even for smaller shooters. We'll talk about the recoil later. It's medium to strong, closer to medium. And uh, if you hit something with it, well, just wait for the shooting test. For now, let's go in here. You see a smooth two-sided beechwood stock, meaning the cheek piece goes high up and is made for left and right handers. The automatic safety activates the moment you pull the side lever completely back. The lever then locks in this position so you can easily fill in the pellet uh, into the 44 centimeter barrel. It won't fall out with Air Gandhi's finest, they fit perfectly. And afterwards you can, i uh, just show you, um, push this button and move the side lever back to its initial position. If you think the side lever is similar to the Diana 45 Air King, 45 Air King Pro or the 56 Target Hunter, not really. Side lever, yes, a rubberized side lever that works super smooth um, and as a matter of fact even smoother than with the other mentioned guns because this one has no return system. This means you don't have to move the whole system. Uh, with the other three guns you pull the lever back and push the system maybe half a centimeter forward. The advantage there is that um, when you are shooting, the system moves back and absorbs most of the recoil, uh, which then barely affects the shooter. It almost feels like shooting a recoil-free gun. Um, here, pulling back the lever is more comfortable because you don't move the system. Uh, you simply move the piston and need less power to cock the gun. But again, you'll see that in the shooting test. The shaft is completely smooth, no fish skin, no grating. Um, the T06 trigger is well known, 400 to 500 gram trigger weight and adjustable in pre-travel, trigger pull and trigger weight. At the back we have a rubber butt plate 
which uh, absorbs part of the recoil, so the shooter won't get a yeah, too powerful feedback. Uh, we talked about the trigger for a second. I'd say I take the rifle for the trigger rest test now and measure the trigger weight. Afterwards, we head to the crony test and the shooting test. Here we go. I brought my Lyman trigger weight tester. I uh, grab some air gun is finest. We'll use them for the crony and shooting test, as mentioned before. Activating it, switching to kilogram and gram, and now you'll see how easy I cock the gun. That's it. Really super smooth. The pellet fits in perfectly, doesn't fall out. And now I push this lever down, can you see it? And then I can push back the side lever with one finger. Don't panic, I can shoot into the room next to me. I deactivate the safety, activate the tester and here we go. We have a trigger weight of 467 gram. Well done. Let's head to the crony test. Here we are at the crony test, Diana 48. 10 shots, air gun is finest, checking power and consistency. Let's go. Los geht's, Leute. Okay, we took 10 shots. Let's check power and consistency. Oh, just nine. I betrayed you. <laughs> Sorry, nine shots. That's also fine. Average power, 8.67 joule. I mentioned it before. Don't panic. The rifle comes to you like this from the factory uh, and is licensed. Um, the spring will relax a bit. It will also go down a bit with harder pellets, so it's all fine. Average speed 176 meters from 174 to 178, a five meter range with one meter standard deviation from the average value. That's an amazing result. Have fun with the shooting test. This is the shooting test. Diana 48 with Hawk MX 10x44, scope uh, and height adjustable ATP 65 mount, which I raised a bit in the back for a slight forward tilt. Of course, I'm shooting Air gun is finest. Now well, let's see what I can do. I said it, Diabolus fit in perfectly, don't fall out. Uh, that's important if you raise the gun for cocking and loading. Now let's see what I can hit. Have fun guys. That's a nice one. Der war echt mal schön. Ist rausgefallen. The automatic safety is easily reachable for both left and right handers. Das heißt sowohl für links als auch rechts schützen. Problemlos geeignetes Gewehr. Also the Cheek piece, it's really good. Nice. I didn't want to say anything, but I hit similar when I trained and I want to reproduce that.
Da wollen wir das nicht auf uns sitzen lassen. Like I mentioned before, medium to strong recoil with a tendency to medium. I think my results show you that it is not too strong. The result is looking really good. And cocking the gun is super comfortable. Ah, that was not an inner 10, still a 10. <laughs> I would give uh, the gun a high handling rating. I have to lower it a bit due to the weight. But it makes uh, sense that you have a, a proper weight with the side lever system, uh, 44 centimeter barrel. Yeah, it's a, a grown up rifle. <laughs> Come on, one more. Yo, 100 points. We have 10 tens. I'd say we head straight to the result. This is the result for the Diana 48. I think I didn't promise too much when I said the shooting test will be great. Um, I trained a lot, yes. Um, I took a lot of shots and it worked out perfectly today and I'm really happy. Well, uh, who was this gun made for? I recommend it to any ambitious hobby shooter. Even if you want to go into your first competitions, you can easily use this gun. You saw uh, that the precision is really good uh, and the finest work perfectly well with it. It's easy to cock. Uh, yeah, if you want to take 50 to 100 shots in a row with the 3.9 kilogram weight, you will gain some muscles. It's definitely a light workout, but that's not a bad thing. <laughs> the, the gun misses nothing. It's made in Germany from the tip of the barrel to the butt plate. Um, absolutely high quality and a ton of fun. I think there's nothing more to say. Um, visit my shop jabolo.de and my partner shop Action Shop 24. We have different products and both shops fit together perfectly. Um, just visit us both. Uh, you get the rifle at Action Shop 24, uh, the other stuff uh, at my shop. Take a look around and then I hope you'll tune in again next week at uh, airgandhi.de. You'll find more close-ups and more technical specs and then you should be informed perfectly. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay healthy. Ciao, servus, says Ergandi.